Alright, so today I'm actually going to be casting a replay um, that I played. Here I am over in the right hand as the blue zerg. Uh, normally I play random, but I haven't practiced my zerg because I quite like them. And my opponent is going to be Deio, who... Uh, I'm still on platinum, although I'm being paired against mostly diamond players. This guy is a 2200 diamond, so relatively solid diamond player. Uh, random player. Notice I don't really know what race he is. Um, I was thinking, there's actually a reason why I replayed this. He started to kind of badmouth me afterwards, um, being a little annoying. So, I figure <laughs> I'll go ahead and post this up for all 10 of you to view. So, Alright, as I say, I, I don't know he's Protoss until now. He shows me on Protoss. Or, he's Protoss. I'm scouting this direction and this direction. Um, then I see that he's, he's Protoss. And I'm scouting his base. Um, you know, one of the important things, of course, is to check the ramp. Uh, here I notice he's getting a forge. And this could mean two things, either forward fast expand, or he's going to try some sort of cannon rush. But the problem is, this map is very bad for uh, forward fast expand because you can't put enough cannons to defend your expo and the ramp. So here my spidey senses are tingling. And actually, I'm correct as he's trying to work in a pylon on my ramp. Now, one of the things you always have to remember is that if you can kill off these pylons, it's kind of worth the, this mining time that I'm losing because pylons worth how much? Um, the other key is also to kill off the probe. All right, does he cancel? Probably does. But here my my pool is finishing. I threw down the 13 point, and I'm making zergling, and I should be making the queen soon. Meanwhile, trying to keep these drones busy. Um, Notice I definitely have enough minerals to for production, and whatever chance I get, I'm gonna go after that probe. He's gonna come back and be in for a rude surprise. Although, honestly, I should have killed there, but anyway, I haven't laddered in a long time, so my cheese defense is still lacking. Alright, so immediately he tries to do this contain type thing. He actually doesn't need three pylons, but um, it's not it's not an error necessarily. Notice his in income is quite higher, his harvester count is a lot higher. But his units lost, right? He's already lost 850 resources. Maybe he didn't cancel, I don't know. But he has lost quite a, a good amount of buildings. Um, once I clear this up, I'm quite ahead. He's lost a lot, but again, if you look at the income, his is still quite higher than mine. Now, one thing that you want to do is Zerg, if you're forced to make Zergling, right, remember Zerg always wants to drone up before making units. They want to delay as much as possible. Here I'm throwing down an expansion, because I know I'm running low behind on larva usage. You always want to be doing something with these links. I figure he's probably going to block off, but since I already have them, I'm going to go ahead and see if he did for sure or not. Um, and if you notice, let's see, I actually ran up the ramp far enough to see what was going on. Um, so this is going to make it very difficult for me to scout. Now typically, when a player, which is actually strange that this guy was diamond because this is quite a lower league strategy, Right, block off with cannons, and then go Void Ray, which um, is a possibility and what I'm actually kind of afraid of. So, well, I wouldn't say I'm afraid of it necessarily, but it's in the back of my mind as I'm trying to drone up to catch up. Um, our incomes are starting to even out. Actually, now I'm about to surpass him as this base starts to saturate. Notice he is not going for his expansion. I mean, he has no units to be able to. He can't expand here because he blocked himself in. 
So here, I know that for a while at least, I will be free to just drone up and really get my economy rolling. Yes, I already overtook him in Harvesters. So at this point, I am quite ahead. Uh, as long as I can defend against whatever build he goes for. it's quite a few cannons. Maybe he's worried about me going roaches or something. So I'm scouting. Alright, one of the reasons why Zergs really dislike this map is that if you just defend the ramp, you can expand to the back. And this is safe. You can expand and tech at the same time. Usually, um, there are three general ways to play. You can either be aggressive, um, you can either uh, expand, right, increase your resource production, increase your income rather, or you can tech. And you don't really, aren't really able to do all three at the same time early game um, very well. I mean, you can balance. It's kind of what I like to do. But now you're just going stalkers. Uh, Stargate's coming up. I'm going speed because my next intuition is well, I don't want to go muta because what's been happening a lot is that you know against Zerg, Protoss almost can go blind Phoenix and be okay. I mean, if Zerg goes muta, then they're winning. If they don't go muta, then they're still fine because Phoenix are very good even if Zerg doesn't go muta. So here here's the void ray production. My plan actually if you if you kinda notice this I'm, I want to upgrade speed and as you can see I'm getting a Nidus network. So I know he he either spent a lot of money on cannons here and everywhere else and has no units or he's making units which he is doing here and he doesn't have cannons of everywhere. So that's, uh, I mean, it's one or the other. He can't do both. Either way, this turns out to be pretty good for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting here. Uh, actually, I should have been a little more proactive. The timing for this is really tight. I notice he's going to Phoenix now. This is a you know, Sky Protoss build that is quite strong. Because the Phoenix, early on, you only have Queens to defend against air. And... One void, uh, phoenix can lift up a queen, letting your void rays just obliterate it. So, here's the Nidus. My slings are streaming in. This is actually, you know, remember up to this point, I don't know if he's going sky. Now I see that he is. And my goal is because uh, speedlings are actually pretty good if they go void ray, because he can't do very much. Notice, look at all these speedlings. Correct, but the goal is to deal as much economic damage as I can. Notice that I'm up 7. Here he makes the fatal mistake of trying to attack me with his probes. He's probably freaking out. But um, if you notice, back home I'm making more queens. Alright. Uh, 13 harvesters. Now, now I'm feeling pretty good actually. If I, he has to push out with his void rays, and if I can defend against it, he's in really bad shape. So it's it's all whether or not. Notice another thing, um, connecting the creep between main and natural is really important for queen defense against Terran and Protoss uh, if they decide to go Banshee or Air. But here's some Phoenix. I have four queens. I'm actually not entirely sure if it's enough. I think this here actually it doesn't win, but it makes it come a lot easier. And here I make one mistake in that I don't move down the ramp. Uh, you'll see in a second that will pan out. Here I'm using transfusion to keep my queen alive. See? I'm getting a little stuck back here. I lose one queen. That's really bad. But he lost a phoenix and a void ray already. And lucky for him, he killed off the... Uh, and high energy queen, so I'm, I'm gonna lose a bit in this harass. But you notice I fought it off. Um, meanwhile, I sorry I didn't have that, but I have 12 hydralis producing. Um, here I think I do make a fatal mistake. We'll see soon. I'm thinking I know that I'm ahead in income. 42 to 17 harvesters. Here I should just expand. Honestly, expand, 
get some infestors. Uh, maybe throw out an aspire and go corruptors. Because corruptor hydra uh, certainly beats this. If you take a look at the army tab, I'm ahead. Food count's almost double. Harvester count doing really well. Um, looking back now, probably could use a little more saturation. My money's getting high. Uh, the reality is, because I don't ladder that much, as much as I really should, I'm kind of at a loss of what to do here. Um, I think here I do finally decide to expand, but that was kind of a delayed response. Here he comes back, and I mean, it's just, this, this is about to get ugly. Let me lose that queen. Oh, actually, I don't. Alright, so I save the queen with a clutch transfusion. Kill the phoenix. Uh, that exchange definitely was in my favor. I'm producing hydras. I think here I'm overproducing hydras. Because the reason why Protoss goes sky is to force hydras. And then tech switch into robo, which is actually what he's doing now. Um, the reality is, you kind of have to have been on two bases already for this to work out. Now here I make a pretty fatal mistake, and I think I have enough Hydras to break this ramp, but I probably don't. Um, again, there's nothing wrong. I'm, I'm losing a lot of Hydras. The cannons are just so cost efficient. Um, yeah, I probably will lose all these Hydras. In reality, I could double expand, even triple expand. That'd be kind of fun, because um, I am getting pretty high on the minerals. I'm making more hydras, um, just to defend. And if you notice here, still 24 harvesters. Um, definitely, his income is not strong enough to support Colossus. Uh, one base double robo is kind of silly, and I, I figure, I think he's going Colossus, because that's a pretty typical thing to do. So, notice I throw down um, another hatchery, uh, get all my gases, look, look at all the upgrades that go down, infestation pit. Uh, I like infestors. I kind of was a little bit on tilt after, because you notice he did all sorts of cheap crap on me, but range, overlord speed, as my overlord is in position to catch to see if he tries to expand. Um, realistically, I should have one over here. Maybe like a zergling over here. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. I do a decent job of moving creep. Um, could definitely be a lot better. My goal is, well, the idea is because hydras are so poor off creep that they're so slow. Now, this, th this is what I was thinking before. Right, if he's gonna try to go Colossus, he is not gonna have money, enough money off one base. So if I can shut down this expansion for as long as I can, I can buy enough time to... And he reveals his Colossus tech. I can buy enough time to do a tech switch. Notice here, he has to move his probes away. Right, his income is about to drop. Um, yeah, now, now I focus down the gas. He's deciding to move out, but he cannot engage his head on. He doesn't want to show off his Colossus, first of all, because his range is only 6. I believe I match range 2. So, he definitely can't fight my, um, my Hydras with his Colossus. So he's buying time. Uh, Income-wise, I don't know why my income actually dropped. Oh, that's because of this. Yeah, this, this is pretty bad. My economy management needed some work. Alright, so now he's about to show his Colossus. And look immediately what I do. Colossus GTFO. This is another important thing. People think Niduses are offensive, but they're actually defensive. I saved all my Hydras because I'm going to need them to kill off his air. And now, um, I look before I threw down a spire. Again, remember, I sensed Colossus. Um, this is going to be for Corruptors. I really have not been liking Mutants very much lately. Alright. I'm 
upgrading. Let's see, he's not upgrading. He won't be. Nine Corruptor should definitely be more than enough to deal with this. Um, I'm starting to saturate this. I think I moved, yeah, I moved my drones from here to here. Uh, again, my minerals are getting really high and my glass gas is getting low. Whenever that happens, when you have more minerals than you can expend, and not enough supply to sink it into zerglings, expand. Right, let's build another hatch here, even if just for the gas. Even if you just take here, 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 here. Take all these bases just so that if you lose some, you can pop back and forth. Alright, so. He's definitely going Colossus Air. Take a look at my army size. We're actually even now. His income is starting to come up, but I have had the resource leave. I see he's moving out. Um, let's see what I do here. Right. I definitely have enough corruptors to deal with this Colossus. Does he know about my base? No, he doesn't. Oh, but he's... Oh, what was that? He saw the drone. That's how... I, I wondered how he knew about that. So, he's probably thinking to himself, oh, crap. Three bases. Now here I make a mistake. Um, I should just run these drones away. Not likely. But, eh, it's debatable. Well, he's gonna lose his army, and then I'm gonna laugh at him. Um, all right. So Hydra Corruptor, quite good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose that. Losing my Hydras. He lost all his hair. Here I can do Here I decide just to go in with the corruptor because I don't want to. It'll be very constantly efficient to assault the Titans. Um, notice he's very active with the corruption ability. 1 1. I have 2 2 about to finish. My income is actually really bad right now. He's ahead in the economy, but he has no army. Um, again, I was afraid to push in before, um, but now I think I should have. Actually, now that I look at it, straight march through his door, he would have been completely destroyed. I mean, he's getting a little high on money that he's trying to sink into gateway units. He's going gateway now. Um, yeah, here... I mean... I double expand, which is always quite nice, but if I had just marched in, I guess it's one of those things that you only learn by experience. So, now the other typical route that you take against Hydras are Templar Tech. So let's see if he decides to go down that route. Oh man, this makes me... Like, I keep thinking to myself, well, my income is pretty bad, I should attack him now. But I don't. Oh man, I should have just attacked. Oh well, you live and learn. He's not really producing. I think he's saving money. Oh, what's he making? Oh, he does get this tech. Alright, I'm going for 3-3. Three, three. My opponent, who I guess high level, or 2200 diamonds, even though they go forge first, will not get upgrades. That's okay. I'm getting a greater spire now because I have all these corruptors. I don't know. I guess I overestimated how many, um, how many cannons he had. Yeah, this is bad. I should have just busted his front door. Oh well. You live and learn. So three three is about to finish. He's going gateway units now. So I'm not sure if this is a smart choice, actually. Um, Hydra's destroy gateway units. Um, unless you get Templar, which he is getting. There's his Templar archives. There it goes. Well, he's mined out here. So he's only on one base to three ba uh, two bases mining bases yet yeah, his income is still higher yeah oh well 
one of the things I need to work on. So, now he's going to go DTs, which, I'll be honest, I did not expect this. Um, the other tactics I did read, this, this is a new one, switching into DTs, switching tech trees so early. Now, the reason I'm pulling these back is because I figure, since I'm mined out, he must be mined out as well. If I can stall him, actually, this is when there's a notification that I'm under attack and I'm like, crap, DTs. Um, immediately I morph Overseer, and I do a bad job. Uh, he was really smart here, sending these DTs down here. Um, my drones are dropping. And though I stopped his mining here and killed a lot of his drones, um, I'm about to lose almost all my drones. So, that Overseer, uh, I mean, Ling Hydra will destroy DTs if you have detection. <laughs> Erngum's actually 0-0, zero, zero, and he's up on Harvesters again. His, his resources are pretty high. I have a lot of gas, but not very many. Um, yeah, whatever. So he's got an army. Pretty poor. Um, I wonder if he forgot about these probes. Or if he thinks I still have hydras. Which I do. He's getting starved. So he's going for observers. Um, oh yeah. If you wonder why my creep spreading stopped. There was at one point where he pushed out to kill these. He's observing now. He sees that there's nothing up there. I guess it's pretty smart of him, actually. I, I really like observer play. I have all these... I have so many hydras. Oh my god. Try to attack. I'm like, what? He <laughs> can't reach. That's a clutch placement for you. Die, 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 die. <laughs> oh man, I have so many hydrants. Eh, no, go away. Uh, after that I took the gold. Um, I'm displaying a very important principle here. Uh, maybe doing it too much. The idea is that when you're ahead, um, try to get more ahead. A lot of times people, when they're ahead, they'll try to go and kill their opponent. Which is actually the first push I made out to his cannons, that was what I did. And he's got a pretty sizable force here, and my army is pretty much all Ling Hydra with some corruptors. Um, realistically, these should have been Broodlords by now, I just, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm like, being silly. So here's the Nidus, which this time is actually on low ground. Um, so now he... He's forced to go all in, and he's got a relatively large force to go all in. And so I'm like, well, okay, he's got no income. I have so many bases. He he has quite a lot of stalkers, which are mobile, but he's got HTs. If I fight him, and he high attempts with a lot of energy, that's just not going to go well for Hydras. If you notice, I do start throwing down a Roach Warren here, which should have been done a long time ago when I saw the Colossus even. Um, yeah, this is bad control. I think I was watching it here. <laughs> That's just so bad. And I noticed what's going on. He leaves all my tech structures. I have a lot of money. Um, which is actually turning out my favor. Look at him try to sneak this here. But again, because of this good Olor placement. Once I completely destroy his base, which I will, I mean, it's, it's going to happen, my, because uh, I'm so spread out, he's all in one base, I can take him easily. Now I have 20 roaches about to hatch. This is, I guess, kind of the power of Zerg. Um, 20 roaches, wow. Alright, so we don't even need to watch this, it's about to die. 
it is gonna die. It's just a matter of when. Let's see. I almost lost actually I ended up being the same because I just lost so many drones. Alright, so I'm saving my roaches here. He's not being revealed. I see what he's about to do. Um, which we'll see in a second. Alright, he builds a pylon. Which is in my vision, and I, I see it on the mini map. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, these units, the purpose is honestly to suicide just to keep trading until these are done. Then I'm gonna return home. And even though I'm gonna lose this army, not in a cost efficient manner, um, once I trade armies, it's a good game at that point. Alright. Where are these things going? Alright, so I have a bunch of things. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I should have done that. I still see this. I don't know why he's trying to do this. Like, I have vision everywhere, which is goes to show the importance of map control. I have these things, which I did not hide. And here is just when I mean, see Storm is just so good against Hydras, but at this point I'm just throwing money in the problem. And wow, you suckle. Whatever that means. Suckle, suckle. Um, so yeah, not not a awesome game. I think there are a lot of sh interesting strategies to be had, but honestly I just hate ungracious flamers. So, um, there's, there was actually more. We got into kind of a message back and forth after the game. Uh, I made fun of him for being diamond and still losing. <laughs> Notice I had fungal growth about to, um, well, I had planned to get fungal, mostly against the sky stuff, but this would have been good. I don't know. I think there's, it's pretty clear, uh, this game, the things I need to work on, um, and the things that I'm rather good at, and I guess the principle that I want to leave you all with is when you are ahead, be very careful if you try to go in and kill him, um, and that goes both ways. If you can kill him, go ahead and do so, but make sure you scout it, and vice versa. Um, you want to make sure that you can, and that he doesn't have a wall of cannons and a bunch of void rays to kill off your hydras early on. Or that he has absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, alright, well, that's it. Bye.